When you add it up, it just makes life-saving sense. Hello, I'm Dr. Chris Kammer, and I practice dentistry in Middleton, Wisconsin. Okay, maybe this isn't as fun and sexy to talk about as cosmetic dentistry, and that's why you never hear about this on national TV talk shows. But it's time to sound the alarm on one of the most common diseases around. Hey, everyone, it's gum disease, and 80% of Americans have some stage of it, according to the Surgeon General. Now, sadly, most of the general public, uh, and even some dentists, I'm sorry to say, think that it's normal when gums bleed. Well, it's not. You know, if you washed your hands and they started to bleed, wouldn't you get a little worried about that? Of course you would. Yet most people don't get worried about bleeding gums because no one is calling it a serious disease that could be deadly. Well, I am, and I'm going to start broadcasting this message far and wide. I'm also ready to do some serious intellectual battling with anyone who tells you something different because I have some heavyweights to back me up on this. Here are three gum disease health connections that you may not know about. Number one, according to a recent issue of Time magazine, University of Southern California researchers have reported that gum disease inflammation can quadruple the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and that treating the inflammation could help stave off the disease. Number two, a current study done by the Harvard School of Public Health showed that patients with gum disease had a 64% greater chance of developing pancreatic cancer, one of the deadliest of cancers. Number three, the Journal of Periodontology showed that pregnant women with high levels of bacteria, which you find in gum disease, are at high risk for delivering preterm low-weight babies. Now, doctors believe that the bacteria from their mouth travels to the uterus and interferes with the pregnancy. You know, the news about gum disease and its connection to our overall health continues to come up again and again in research and medicine. It's time to get deadly serious about the disease that most of the planet still does not take seriously. Now here's the good news. Dental offices that follow the gums of steel protocol now have the ability to get gum disease under control up to 98 percent of the time and without specialist surgery. Now is dentistry in the business of saving lives? Surprisingly, the answer is yes.